Hello guys, today I will show you three PowerShell commands which can help in hacking after you manage to get admin access on a machine. So let's go. The first command is set net firewall profile. We will use this command to disable the firewall. Before, let's see how we can get its status. We will use get net firewall profile. So get net profile. Okay, let's filter it a bit. Going to select name and status if it's enabled or not, and then table. Okay, so we see that for all domain private and public, the firewall is enabled. So let's disable it for the private one. Let's use set. and we're going to choose profile private and now <clears throat> we're going to set enable to false see here that it is active okay now we see that we already received a notification that we need to turn on the firewall and we see also here that for the private one it is disabled if we change it back to true it will be again enabled the second command is set item property. We will use it to change a registry value in order to disable user access control. Keep in mind that the restart is required afterwards. We need, we need to change the value of enable law, this one here, from one to zero. The path of this registry is HK local machine, software, Microsoft Windows, current version policies, uh, system. First, let's see how user access control works. If I'm trying to run as administrator Windows PowerShell, we see we get this pop up here. Okay, I'm gonna close this one. Okay, now let's uh, let's change the value. So set item property. I'm going to choose for part HKLM software Microsoft Windows current version policies system. Okay, now the name of the key is enable. One, and I'm going to choose value zero. Okay, we already got the notification here. If you go back to the registry and refresh, now we see that this one here is zero. Okay, so let's restart. Okay, now. Let's run again PowerShell as administrator. You see, it runs directly. This time, no more pop-up. The third command is add MP preference. It will serve to add an exception path from which we can run malicious content. I will show you how we can run a reverse shell while Windows Defender is still active. On my attacker machine, I have started the listener on port 4444. I have this folder here, ctemp, where I'm going to copy malicious content so far it isn't added as an exception so let's copy this malicious reverse shell and put it here okay okay we already have a notification here from windows security let's try to execute it see it doesn't allow us it doesn't allow us and in the end it will also delete it okay try again See, it already deleted it. Now, going back to PowerShell, let's add an exception using add MP preference. So, add MP preference, okay. exclusion path, and we are going to set C temp. Okay. Now, I'm going back and copy this malicious executable, which will also to connect via reverse shell and now let's run as administrator see this time we didn't receive an error or a pop-up from windows defender let's get back to our attacker machine and see the result see we obtained a reversal if we type who am i 
we see that we are victim user. So we managed to execute a malicious content executable while Windows Defender was still active. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time. Bye bye.